Hi gang, Scott here. We've got some on one photo raw goodness for you today. Photo raw 2021.5 has been released. There are a bunch of new features in it and I thought I'd give you a rundown of what uh, I find most interesting in this particular release. If you're thinking about adding photo raw to your toolkit, check the show notes. There is an offer code down there that can save you a little bit of money. And if you're already using on one products, well, go check that uh, updates button in the app. You should have an update waiting for you. You can download Load and start using some of these new features. So let me run down. Is uh, I got five things for you in 2021.5. Number one, top of the list is the return of the smart photo. Now, if you've been using on one products for a bunch of years, you might remember this feature. This was something uh, you know, four or five years ago, smart photo technology. And this is for the plugin crowd out there. You're using on one as a plugin to Lightroom. Smart photos let you re-edit the changes you made in on one. So you send a photo from Lightroom into on one as a smart photo. The PSD file that gets created understands and remembers the edits that you made. So later on, you know, days, weeks, months later, you go back into on one from Lightroom you can change and tweak and modify those edits. I've got a separate video that'll run you through how smart photos work. Uh, it's very cool. I'm very happy to see it come back to the product. So for the plugin crowd, you get to have this additional level of re-editability. If you're using Photo Raw as a standalone program, that's your your hub, your photo you know, uh, ecosystem. Well, you already know about non-destructive edits and you know being able to change things. This is a special one for the plugin crowd, the return of the smart photo. Number two is batch editing with plugins. So another boost for plugin users here. Like if you're like me, you got Lightroom as your hub, you're using on one to augment your photos. Well, you know, you're in your Lightroom ecosystem. Yeah, you can copy and paste settings within Lightroom. And then if you want to take all those into on one, you've got to do each one individually, do your changes. And yeah, maybe you could hack together a, a, a set of, you know, I'll make a preset temporarily so I can apply it to these bunch of photos and kind of move through the, uh, the images somewhat quickly. But you've got to do all that by hand. Well, 2021.5, you don't. You get this uh, additional feature with batching your photos through the on one plugin. So you can take a set of photos and then push them through on one all automated so that you get that same look all the way across and you, know, you don't have to sit there and work through the photos. So uh, I've got another video that will walk through how that operates as well. It's another very cool feature for the plugin crowd out there that you can just speed up workflow when you are getting through a set of similar images. The third one is customized keyboard shortcuts. So hotkeys, you can define your own hotkeys for the functions or the menu options that you use time and again. And maybe there's already a keyboard shortcut, but you don't like it. It's just not intuitive to you. And you can change that. You can make it your own. Or maybe there's something that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut. You can add one in. I've got a separate video that'll walk you through how to set up keyboard shortcuts. It's like icing on the cake. It's, it's a nice, nice addition to make the workflow smoother and more tailored to your way of thinking and how you use on one tools. The fourth feature is an additional slider control. And we already have a couple of things with sliders. This one, I just want to show you how it works. Like in this photo here, uh, let me pick on the blacks slider where it has a value of negative 12, but you know, my, my surfer and down there is a little bit dark. So, you know, I could either start to try to work this slider and, and get it where, where I want it to be. But if I'm having trouble getting control where I can't, let's say I wanted it to be on you know, 11 and I, 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 I'm having trouble with my trackpad or with my mouse to get it in there. I was like, okay, well, I think I want it to be 11. Let me type that in. No, that's not dark enough. Let me try eight. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm, and you get into this situation, you're struggling. You're trying to pick a number where really what you want to do is work with the slider in a fine-grained way, but looking at your image. Well, the new control is we can click right on the little dot. So now to see that dot is filled in. And now I can use my arrow keys. Let me move this mouse out of there. If I arrow up, I can go up one at a time or down one at a time. And if I start to increase my pace at hitting that key, like I'm going to start hitting it fast, you're going to start to see a jump, right? So there's some intuitiveness to the slider control where if I rapidly tap that key 
it's going to get increased or decreased faster. And now I can watch my photo, and I'm just looking at the photo now as I adjust the slider with the up and down arrow keys, and I'm settling out right about there. Okay, it turned out to be 12. The number doesn't matter, the look on the photo does. And this additional slider control using the up and down arrows, when that slider like pin is activated, that's a new thing in 2021.5. And if you're thinking about, oh, can I cross connect this with keyboard shortcuts? Absolutely, if you define keyboard shortcuts, and a lot of them already exist, for like the basic tone sliders, exposure, highlight, shadows. You can hit that on your keyboard, then use the arrow keys to adjust things. So you've got uh, the ability to do fine-grained work uh, pretty quickly if you've uh, got your keyboard shortcuts committed to memory. And the fifth feature is an improvement to Cloud Sync. So uh, this was formerly called On One 360 Cloud Sync. So we have our photos in one place and it's available on our other devices and you have this ecosystem of all the photos in the cloud. Well, now you get an improvement for what gets synchronized. In addition to your photos, it will synchronize your presets, your texture packs, you know, all the things you might have added in. Like if you go up into your extras, all of these things you may have added in, like uh, I know I've got some texture packs in here. Uh, if you've added in brush shapes, if you, I don't have any LUTs, but if you added in LUTs, all your presets, of course, all the things that you might have added. You know, I've got some of my own. I've got, uh, you know, some of the things that came from On One. I've got other packs from other photographers. All of that stuff, if you in your preferences, in your Cloud Sync area, Sync Presets, those items will be synchronized through Cloud Sync and available on your other devices. So this is a, a, a much, much desired and well appreciated feature for the cloud folks out there. You don't have to take your texture pack and install it on you know, your laptop and your desktop. Put it in one place, let Cloud Sync do the work for you. So really nice improvement in 2021.5. So those are the five things for the plugin crowd out there. You've got smart photos, you've got batch editing now for all on one users, customizable keyboard shortcuts, you've got better slider control. And if you're a Cloud Sync user, well now your presets, your textures, your LUTs, all those things are being synchronized for you across all of the systems you have participating in Cloud Sync. Hope you found the video useful. You got any questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.